Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillahi Rabbil Alemin. Ve sallallahu ve sellem ala nebiyyina Muhammed. Ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve sellem. Amma ba'd. Ahabati fillah, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi ve sellem said, İnne dunya halavet al-qadara. Halavet al-qadara. Ve inna allaha subhanahu mustakhlafukum fi. فَلْيَنْذِرُ كَيْفَ تَعْمَلُونَ فَاتَّقُ الدُّنْيَا وَاتَّقُ النِّسَا فَإِنَّ أَوْلَ فِئْنَ بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ كَانَتْ فِي نِسَا رُوَهُ مُسْلِمْ In this hadith in Sahih Muslim, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, Verily the dunya is like a beautiful garden. And verily Allah places you in it to see, and he looks to see what you will do. So fear the dunya and fear the women. For verily the first trial that befell the children of Israel was the women. Ahabatifillah, wealth, wives or not even wives, wealth and relationships are things that we all covet and can be tested with and require for us to be careful if we're to have healthy Iman and know that the shaitan will come to you in those ways and try to trick and deceive you by coming to you from the ways of Shabahat or Shahawat as we mentioned and that this requires us to be cautious and avoid fitna at all cost because there's not a greater fitna than the fitna of you being tested in your religion and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam